Well, the farm has been in Martin's family uh, since 1877. We moved back in 1980 with degrees in wildlife biology and wildlife management. Now operating 410 acres, almost 70 dairy cows. We're producing livestock without antibiotics, synthetic hormones. Um, no pesticides or herbicides on the crops we raise. Um, all their feed has to be pesticide free. We don't use genetically modified organisms and uh, cloning. We've passed our, our cows during the grazing season, which is usually from about the first of May to the end of October. So the cows get fresh grass every day. Cows do all the work, they, they do the harvesting, they deposit the fertilizer and work it in, and basically no fossil fuels used in the system. Everything that we do on the farm starts with the soil and, and building and maintaining the soil life. And that's the basis for the, the good feed for the cattle here on our farm. That's just a system that fits well with the way cows are designed. I mean, their stomachs are just beautifully engineered for eating grass. And sometimes run into troubles when, when we're feeding high grain diets. creates an acid condition in their body and sets them up for a whole host of disease issues. So what, what we see here is, is when the cows are out on pasture and they're in the, the fresh air and the sunshine, it's better for the cows, it's better for the environment, and uh, I think uh, healthier products coming from those animals that do better on pasture. So it just was a, a whole, just basically common sense for us to do it on our farm that way. Marty's grandpa built the barn in, in 1928, and it was quite a showstopper in its, in its prime. There weren't a lot of other barns like this around, so uh, where normally you'll see a farm that has a sign at the end of the driveway that mentions the family name. He had to have it plastered right on the south end of the barn here, and the main road is, is directly there, and a long, rich, proud family tradition here on the, on the farm. The organics has made it possible for small family farms to, to survive, especially if you're just starting out, the capital outlay for an operation like ours is much less. And we are the fourth generation to farm on this farm. We've got fifth and sixth living in the, on the farm too right now, so. This way, come on, come on. Our goal was to just do what we could to keep the farm going, you know, through our generation. Um, I think out of respect for the three generations that came before us. And organics has helped us out immensely there and, and made it possible for us to, to offer the farm to Kevin. I think comfortably offer the farm to Kevin as an option for his family. Okay.